God in his Trinitarian delight of his community of Father, Son, and Holy Spirit creates the world to multiply his joy. By multiplying his image, he multiplies the delight that he has in his own image. And his desire is to behold the creation order and see a reflection of himself. Now, this needs to be, for every follower of Jesus, the controlling narrative in our minds. This is what God wants the world to look like. It's got to become, just like when we're doing a puzzle, you've got to put the puzzle box top right in front of you so that you know exactly what pieces of puzzle to put there. This view of creation, this is what it's supposed to look like, has to constrain our puzzle work in this life. This is how we know how to act our parts. We have to act part in alignment with the way the story goes so it looks like that puzzle box of God's glory being reflected as he looks on the earth. Later on, Isaiah and Habakkuk will say it this way, that the knowledge of the glory of the Lord one day will cover the earth as the waters cover the sea. And as we learned from our Isaiah text, God's purpose will not be thwarted. He'll do all that he pleases. This serves now as the controlling subtext to all the storyline of the Bible. 